in the past, the district has had a STEM day for all the fourth graders. Um, unfortunately, we were unable to do it this year as a district, and I wanted to bring these opportunities to our students. We know that STEM is the future for our kids, and I just wanted to make sure that they all got the opportunities to be at least introduced to and maybe fall in love with it. And yeah. Right. <laughs> right. And so um, you were just explaining a little bit about it, but how do you envision this? Um, Invent um, impacting students' interest in STEM fields? Um, well, especially for our girls. We know if we catch the girls at a younger age, they'll be more likely to continue through middle school and high school. And if we can give them a taste of how much fun it really can be, I think we can get them interested in pursuing STEM in the middle school and high school. Right. And so, how do you measure the success um, from STEM Day? Their faces. <laughs> their excitement, their faces, having them really enjoy what they're doing and you know the it's the ah <laughs> moments. Right. And so what are some extra hands on activities that are here that you're taking part in? Okay, um, in one of our other rooms we have spectrums where they can actually create songs and create music. We have some coding. One of our groups is doing coding through uh, MIT scratch.mit edu and then code.org. We also have stop animation filming where they, they move the little piece and take a picture each time which we know you know cartoons used to be like that. Um, we have the spheros and we have lots of different things. Right and so um, I know it was mentioned about eight different activities correct? Or uh -huh, we have seven. Seven okay thank you and how are these topics being relatable um, for the fourth graders um, when it comes to STEM? I guess? Uh, well, especially with the stop and emotion, because that is something we use in filmmaking that they still use to this day. And so we can relate it to careers outside of not necessarily just STEM, but careers in the movie industry. And, you know, with the coding, you know, they can create apps for the iPads and, you know, you know they all want to be YouTubers and TikTokers. And so it goes that way. And can you um, share any other success stories or anything that you would like to add that I may have missed? Uh, that we just want to continue this every year and hopefully get bigger and better and have more sessions. <laughs>